All right. How you doing? We're doing good. They couldn't have picked a better day. It's beautiful. Great place. Yeah, Melissa and Aaron, this is a great place. This is a great place to remember. And we ask that God's blessing will be on you as you start your new life here tonight in a special way. Thane and Sherilyn Kreitz. Our thoughts and prayers will be with you. We love you. Would you like to say anything to him? Personally? You ready? Hey Aaron, how you doing? I'm Melissa. You know, I hope everything turns out well with you guys and kind of picked a more beautiful place to have a wedding. Um, thank you for everything you've done with our family and thank you for helping us throughout the years. Um, God bless your family. God bless the wedding. I'll see you, Elijah. There you are. See you, Elijah. Thank you. Hey, congratulations, bro and sis. We're really happy for you. Remember, L-O-V-E, learn others value equality. Have a great life. Thank you. Are you ready? Go ahead. Congratulations, Aaron and Melissa. Thank you for inviting us to this wonderful day, and I hope you guys have a long life together. Love you guys. Love you guys. Good luck. Congratulations. You're going to need it. <laughs> okay. No? No? Okay. Aaron and Melissa, congratulations. And I know you've been together a long time, but when you get married, that's special. And special with you and God and have a good marriage. <laughs> so silly. It's from Patty. Okay, go ahead. Uh this I'm I'm Ron Olson and I'm sure that this could be a beautiful wedding. And I'm glad that you come to get the food for your chickens. And and I'm sure that you two will, will make a good couple. And then you have a nice you have a nice boy. And I'm thankful that you're gonna get married. Okay. Anything that's involved. Aaron, Melissa, I've known you guys, it seems like a whole life. Uh, I didn't know you weren't married, um, but I'm here to help you and make sure that you guys have a beautiful life together. Um, there's no, not a whole much more I can say, but uh, we'll be friends as far as I'm considered for the whole life. Uh, enjoy your life together, and I'll see you later. Enjoy. This is Pam. I hope you guys have a wonderful and enjoyable and a great life together, and God bless you both. Would you like to say something? Yeah, they'll hear that. Okay. Hi, Melissa and Aaron. Congratulations, and this is a beautiful location. Hi, Aaron and Melissa. We're so glad we made it out from California. Um, congratulations, and... I hope you have so she can the best somebody. rest of your lives together as, yeah, as possible. Um, again, congratulations. And Aaron, you're doing that. That's good. This is a good thing. Um, you have Eliza. Now let's work in Spargus. Okay? Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Erin and Melissa. Erin, what's her name? Melissa. And Melissa. Eric, I mean, Eric. Melissa, say something. It's a very good marriage, healthy, nice and healthy marriage. We wish him the best. Good luck and we love you. Enjoy Thank you. Congratulations, Erin and Melissa. Hi, we're James and Gail, wishing you God's blessings of joy and happiness all the days of your life. Have a happy day. Happy, happy wedding. Okay. Is that recording? <laughs> uh, congratulations. Um, don't get me in this, please. <laughs> what? I don't know what else to say. I'm camera shy too. Good luck in having you. 
years to come. Yeah, how many like years to come? <laughs> you can tell them, you know, like, hey, why are you guys screwing it up now? Oh, yeah, why are you guys <laughs> screwing it up now? <laughs> <laughs> Who gives this uh, woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I do. Thank you. Please be seated. Some of them, not to the others, great counsel, you know that? And so here's one that I think is pretty good. Uh, depends on how you look at it. It goes like this. The most happy marriage I can picture or imagine to myself would be the union of a deaf man to a blind woman. <laughs> now you pause and think about that a little bit. You know what? It's not so bad, that kind of funny counsel, because uh, although Samuel Taylor, I think he had other thoughts about it, uh, that kind of counsel, uh, if, if blindness and deafness is practiced when things go a little bit messy, you know what? You can laugh instead of yell or be angry. So it's not really that bad, bad that, that kind of counsel. Uh, let, me, let me read something else to you that uh, uh, we sometimes have on a refrigerator, sometimes we have it in different places in the house, and I just want to read you a little bit of uh, what happens when we love one another. It goes like this. If you don't like someone, the way he holds his spoon will make you furious. If you do like him, he can turn his plate over into your lap and you won't mind. You know, it's really, it's, isn't it true, folks? It really is true. That's, that's about how it, how it happens. All right? Uh, and following, following what I've just shared with you so far, here's something that I think has a lot of truth to it. It goes like this. Love at first sight is nothing special. Love at first sight is nothing special. It's when two people have been looking at each other for years that it becomes a miracle. All right? <laughs> and you know, you know, that's pretty good counsel also. You know, you look at one another and if you, you, can, you can look at each other for years, it's, it's really a miracle that we still hang on together. And I'll tell you what, the miracle is from up above. He holds us together and remember, uh, laugh, Mr. Yell. Good stuff. All right. Aaron and Melissa, you're both chosen to be husband and wife in the customary traditional, traditional way. More than anything else, always remember who performed the first wedding. It was God. He performed the first wedding. He performed it, and that marriage stayed together. Of course, you know it's the Lord Jesus Christ, God, who did this. And if you do and live the way he recommends, you'll continue to stay together. Yes. Here's a little idea about uh, Jesus at a wedding. 
And you might, it might help both of you. In fact, I'll tell you what, it might help all of us if we mind this little bit of advice. And it comes from a little story. Let me share the story with you. And before I do, look up here, folks. Don't they look beautiful? Yeah. Ah, thank you. You look great. Handsome and beautiful. All right. Here's the little story for you. It was a Sunday school teacher who told the kids about the wedding in Canaan. It was a wedding that Jesus went to. And uh, the wedding wa was all about, we, we read about it, it was all about Jesus turning water into wine. Fantastic. So the father, after the wedding, after the Sunday school, asked the, the boy, said, uh, tell me, what did you learn from that story about Jesus turning water into wine? And I think what he said was terrific. The little boy thought for a moment and then answered, if you're having a wedding, make sure Jesus is there. <laughs> Good, huh? Yes. And uh, you know what I think? I think that with uh, joyful expressions out here and your radiant faces and the way we've started this wedding, He's with us. Our Lord is with us this, this afternoon hour in this beautiful place. Folk, some of you have a wedding in this setting. Some of you have never been to a wedding in this setting. Maybe your first time. All right? But I'll tell you something. Aaron and Melissa, they live a country-style life. This is very comfortable. Some will I home to them. And uh, you know what? When we want to escape from stresses, which country living kind of helps to escape from stresses, what do we usually do? We take off, go to the lake, camp out, go to the mountains. We get in and go to nature. So I'll tell you what, this was a great choice. Terrific choice. I'm glad you chose this place. It's comfortable, it's relaxed, and we can just enjoy one another's company here this afternoon. I think it's a great idea that you, you chose to be in this place. Now, Melissa, I have some um, biblical counsel just for you, okay? We'll start with you. You, you want to know how to continue to support Aaron? It's in the Bible. The Bible, the, the wise man in the Bible wrote some really good counsel. It comes from a book called Proverbs. A virtuous and worthy wife, earnest and strong in character, is a crowning joy to her husband. I don't know how many of you know Melissa very well, but I've had the opportunity to watch and observe her for quite some time. And I have discovered that she is not only loving and caring to you, Erin, but she is a person of strong character. You're a strong lady, and that's great. That's wonderful. And so you, if you continue to live that way, you will be a crowning joy to Erin every day. Yes. God bless you, Melissa, as you continue to walk the way you've been walking and to grow in, in God's grace, okay? Aaron, I have a few words for you as well, okay? It also comes from a book of wisdom, Ecclesiastes, it's called. Here's what it says. Live happily with the woman you love through the fleeting days of life. For the wife God gives you is your best reward down here for all your earthly toil. So. Enjoy. Live happily. Enjoy the woman that God has given you. Okay? Today, Aaron, you are given a wife by God. So don't ever forget to give you who gave you this woman to be your wife. I asked earlier a question, and it's a right kind of question. I asked earlier your daddy, who gives this woman to be married to this man? He said, my mother and I. That's good. That's correct. We can also have all responded. We all do. Sometimes in weddings they do. We all give this woman to be this, married to this man. That would be okay also. But you know, when we come to the very bottom line of everything, it's God who gives us to one another. It's not somebody lending you out to this man. It's God giving you to this man to be one with him. An awesome thing. Ultimately, God is the one that puts us together, okay? 
Now, there are some present here this afternoon who have heard me give weddings in the past, wedding ceremonies. And I would dare say that if I didn't say the following words, the words that I'm going to say in a few minutes, they would say this, this may not be Pastor Helmer giving his wedding. Because I'll always say the following at every wedding, and it's right from the Bible. Let me put it into our words. And it's good words, not just for Melissa and Aaron, but it's good words for all of us. And it doesn't matter if we're married, contemplating marriage, or single, planning to stay single. The counsel in the Bible is so good. It says, don't let the sun go down on your anger. If you've got a problem, don't let your eyes close at night with anger in your heart. What do you do? You simply say, whichever way it goes, Melissa, sorry, I blew it today. Aaron, I got angry and I'm sorry. I, I just, I messed it up. If you do that, if we do that as married people, as single people, if we do that, Every morning, every next day will be a new one, a new day. We don't have to carry garbage and bags from the day before. No, every day is a new day. I'll tell you what, folks, it works. It works. Do it. Do it. And your life will be so much happier. Every day, a brand new day. We've come to a part in our ceremony where I'm going to ask for your participation. We are, we are at the point of our vows. Aaron, I want you to go first, and I'm going to give you the microphone so that you... so that you can give the vows first to Melissa. I believe they're on there to stay. Yes, that's good. And now, Melissa? 
with uh, this ring that which you're holding, you wed Aaron, and uh, you, through this symbol, extend to him your everlasting love. Thank you so much. Beautiful. It's all beautiful, is it not? Yes, folks. I hope that you're all uh, rooting very well, but I think you'll root much more uh, once we uh, come closer to the end of our service. I would like at this time to have a consecration wedding prayer for you. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, you are witness to what's taking place this very moment. That's the amazing thing about you. You see it all. You know it all. And today, Melissa and Aaron are joining their lives together in a traditional, customary fashion that we pray, Lord, will continue to bind them together in their lives. May they rejoice together. May the son Elisha also rejoice in this union that is being formed in a very significant manner this, at this beautiful afternoon hour. Lord God of heaven, may your spirit abide in their hearts. May your angels surround them. May your spirit be in their home. May their love continue to grow always with your grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. As a minister of the gospel, and by the authority invested in me by the state of Arizona, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and what God has put together, let no one ever break apart. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite this young couple to kiss as a sign of sealing this event. Yes, give them a hand. Thank you so much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ray. Give them another hand.